In the world of blistering lead guitar, there are few who are as intense as Rusty Cooley. Regardless of the style that you play, there is a lot to be learned and gained from checking out the practice methods of a player like Rusty. So in this video, I'm going to take one of his more popular practice methods that he's talked about over the years. We're going to refine and define exactly what he meant when he mentioned the five minute method. Let's check it out. A while back, Rusty and I spent quite a bit of time chatting over Skype in preparation for his guest solo appearance on my band Lost Symphonies' second album. Now we talked about a lot of things. The one thing that I had wish I had remembered to ask him was some more detail about what he does and thinks about during his five minute method. Now just recently, I caught a fairly recent interview with him. Uh, the interview itself is probably almost a year old now, but recent to me. But in this interview, he actually clarifies exactly how and what he does during this five minute period. Now, it's a very cool interview. I'm gonna link it below and I'm gonna thank the interviewer for posting this because I think it answers a lot of questions anyone who knows about this method might have. Now, everyone knows that to develop a skill, and it doesn't matter what skill it is, it could be writing, tying your shoes, any sort of skill that involves motor function, motor skill, requires a lot of repetition. And for Rusty, he mentioned that he never really used a metronome when developing his technique. And that probably took a lot of people by surprise initially. But what he did rely on was a timer. Good old egg timer. I got mine from a dollar store. <laughs> And uh, you can get them anywhere. You can even get one on your phone. What he mentions is that you set your egg timer for five minutes and you practice whatever lick or riff that you're working on. Anything that you want to be able to ultimately get to a high level, you set it for five minutes and you do five minutes of non-stop repetition. To me, the beauty of this method is purely a psychological thing. When you set that timer for five minutes and you embark on playing six notes for the duration of that, you're going to play many more repetitions than you would if you were unaided or left to your own devices. When you have a timer holding you to the task of playing until it goes off, it's an interesting thing because nobody wants to lose to an egg timer. So what I'm going to show you next is an example of what this might look like in your own playing. Now before we launch into this, there is a caveat. During this five minutes, you are going to start slow, maintain perfect control, work your way up, gradually speeding up until you hit your personal ceiling. And by that I mean the level or the, the tempo in which you can still maintain control just before you start to break up. You don't want to play into the zone of crap, so to speak, right? You want to maintain control. So when you hit that ceiling, you come back down to where it's comfortable. Because again, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And what Rusty clarified in the interview that I saw, and I thought this was the whole reason for me making this video, because apparently there's a lot of people getting this wrong. You're not to play as fast as you can or as fast as possible during this five minutes. That's not going to do you any good unless your goal is to burn yourself out. The idea here is to play with as much control and last for five minutes. But keep doing this over a period of time. You're going to start to really see a lasting result of this. Now, another thing to note here is it doesn't require a metronome. And that's another thing that Rusty really stressed. He is playing things during this five minute period that he's already comfortable with. He already knows the timing of it. He doesn't need a metronome to understand the eighth notes or triplets or sixteens that is involved in the lick he's playing. If this is the case for you, where you think you need a metronome for that, you probably should just stick to the metronome and not worry about the five minute thing just yet. This is for licks that you're already well versed in. You just want to get them to a higher level. Okay, so you've set your timer for five minutes. You've got the lick planned out. 
What you're going to do at first is establish control over what it is you're going to do. So yeah, the only way to really control anything is to bring it down to a level slow enough where you can manage every aspect. So in my case, for this lick, I'm going to start about there. Now this is going to be uh, just a short little six note repeating figure. And by the way, I'm not going to do this for an entire five minutes and bore you to death. But what I am going to do is compress everything and show you an overview, a kind of a cross section of what things would look like in an actual five minute period. So just to show you the lick in case you want to try this one for yourself, um, we're going to do this in A minor or C major. I'm going to start on B, fourth string, ninth fret, and I'm going to do 9, 10, 12, which will give me B, C, D. And then on the third string, I'll play 9, 10, which gives me E and F. And then I'll go back to the D on the fourth string, and that's going to complete my six note pattern. Now, what I'm going to do is set the timer, and again, like I said, establish control. Every element, left and right hand, optimized, everything is in place. Feeling good, sounding good, go. Now at this point, I might hang here for a bit. I'm not in a rush. Again, this is a marathon. We don't want to burn out within the first few seconds. Now at some point, you're going to start to level up. Maybe a little more. But still not totally pushing yet. And maybe about a minute, minute and a half in, I start reaching, and I'll come back down. And I might come all the way back down. Because again, you want to touch upon very low, slow tempos, as well as your fastest, and ramp back up. And you're basically going to do that for the entirety of the five minute stretch. Now, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, because Again, you have to endure for five minutes. So you're not going to be able to just fire out of the gate at your full tempo and actually expect yourself to last for five minutes. That's not the point of this. And as Rusty says himself in the interview, he goes, he never did that. He never took it to the point of like losing control. Because technique is all about control. It's about finding your limit and coming back down, strengthen the foundation. Find your limit strengthen the foundation. Now, I should also point out, this does not negate, or this does not eliminate the metronome from my practice session. I still use it. I'm going to use it for different things. But when it comes to putting in vast amounts of pure repetition, this method is going to work for you in a very, very helpful sort of way. And I would recommend adding this, even if it's just somewhat to your regular practice methods. Again, do what you do, but I'm just going to suggest that perhaps you should include this maybe a couple times a week, uh, maybe once a day. If you're the type to practice several times a day, you might want to include this method as something that you can do. I would say definitely check this out. Thanks for tuning in and let me know your thoughts in the comments.